Hello, in this video I'd like to show you how you can incorporate layer parenting into your Smart Magnet Rig workflows. It's important to understand from the very beginning that the only reason to use layer parenting in your Smart Magnet Rig workflows is because it's capable of tweening elements along arcs. This is the only thing that layer parenting is good at. Everything else is just a complete disaster. It's full of bugs, it's full of dead ends, it's a completely underdeveloped system that is no match in any other respect to smart magnet rigs. So what we actually do with layer parenting is just apply it as wrapping just a shell over a smart magnet rig core. When we finish our posing, when we're done with our animation and we want to clean up some tweens, this is where layer parenting comes in handy. So let me just uh, enable layer parenting for this character. This is a smart magnet rig and I can do so using the toggle command, layer parenting toggle from the menu or using its shortcut key, which is semicolon. As you could see, we have PL added as prefixes to the layer names, just uh, as visual indicator that these layers are parented now. If I grab the free transform tool, you will see they behave as parented layers. If I drag this uh, arm here, I can demonstrate one of the horrific bugs in the layer parenting system. If I flip horizontally this element here, look what happened. It travels at every flip. It just travels. Not only it travels, but um, other weird things happen, but the traveling is just absurd. Here is um, a vertical flip. If I flip again, it's out of sight. Now, luckily, Smart Magnet Joint works with parented layers. So all I'll need to do is just press the tilde key and it will snap back into position. So what we have with parented layers and the Smart Magnet Rig tools Smart Transform works fine. So I can do a Smart Transform selection like this. If I select this hand here and go Shift 1, which is Inverse Smart Transform, it will chain select up the chain. And with the Free Transform tool, I can modify this uh, group of elements. Magnet Snapping works. So if I move the hand away and select the lower arm and go inverse snap, which is control plus tilde, the element will snap there. If I select these two and go tilde, they will snap back to the upper arm. Smart magnet joint works. Layer parenting toggle is just um, basically a button press semicolon. Now everything is unparented and now everything is parented again. So that makes it very easy to switch the shell on and off. As of version 6.5 of eDap Tools, Kineflex also works fine with the layer parenting shell. So all you need to do is just um, select the Kineflex tool and you can pose the parented layers just um, normally as uh, I'm demonstrating right now. The only thing that does not work is IK cleanup. So let me add a keyframe and uh, pose this character. Just make him squat a little bit. I will just make him squat and uh, tilt his body forward a little bit. So let's say this is this is uh, kind of the, the pose I want to have. And because um, all these are parented, if we activate a classic tween here for this span, there will be no disassembling. We can only see a bit of uh, the feet digging into the ground. Obviously, this is because layer parenting is FK and in this case, we need inverse kinematics. I'll hide the controllers and I will need to unparent feet and legs 
so that I can IK clean them up. I'll use the toggle command with the shortcut key semicolon. Now these are unparented because of just the, the simple fact that these two static things were twinned with layer parenting on created a little bit of movement. We don't need any movement in the feet. So um, I will get rid of this tween and I'll get rid of this key as well. And I'll do the same for this one. Get rid of the tween, get rid of the key. We want the feet to be perfectly static. So no tweens there. And I'll show the IK controllers. And I have two options, either to clean up with the IK cleanup button in Smart Magnetry Helpers, just press the button and these extra keyframes were created, or to use the shortcut key, which is the same as FK cleanup, but the initial selection has to be a controller. So Alt plus Q and the other leg is now cleaned up. So now knees bend in an IK way, feet stay planted and the upper torso and the arms are all moving along arcs because uh, all these layers are parented. So this is it. You can use Kineflex, you can use Smart Magnet Joint, you can use Smart Transform, you can toggle the shell on and off. The only thing that does not work directly with parented layers is obviously IK cleanup and you can't use the freestyle rigging tool. My suggestion is to do your animation without the shell on. When you're done with your animation, just switch layer parenting on to clean your arcs up. Keep this as a last step to just avoid all the awful bugs that there are in the system. Now let's look into something which is much closer to an actual animated shot. This is a little test that I did probably more than a year ago when I was playing with the first early prototypes of the Smart Magnetry IK. So let's, uh, I'll publish the animation so that we can see it first. The character does a couple of steps and then he hops and lifts this uh, yellow ball. I was testing how you can pin the feet and all that kind of nice stuff. I animated all of this uh, in Flash CS6. Now let's look at the timeline. Pay attention to these uh, keyframes with the green comment labels. These are the only places where I felt the need to clean up my arcs. So in all other situations, I did not really need any cleanup. I'll hide the effectors and I will remove these cleanup frames. So that we can see the animation without the cleanup. Okay, this leg, this leg here, obviously needs some cleaning up. The amplitude between the keys is large and there's a lot of rotation. It makes no sense to clean everything. It only in practice is meaningful to clean up elements that are visibly losing their positions. So it becomes very obvious when you do your poses where you need to actually clean things up. So how shall we go about this? I would say we only need to parent these elements and we only need to parent them somehow so that they don't really create problems further down. The thing is, if we parent everything, we'll face the problem of feet digging into the ground during inverse actions. So that's not really what you would like to do. So we only need to clean up this little section here. 
and in, in many cases it's much neater and much cleaner to actually not use parented layers but just the standard cleanup. Now if I use the standard cleanup I'll just select one of the elements and go Smart Transform and then press um, Alt and Q and there you go, like I have these four extra keys here and this section is cleaned up. Now how would I go about it if I want to use layer parenting? I can make a block selection but I can't select just uh, the lower leg and the foot because the upper leg is sandwiched in between these two. So what would happen if I only parent these frames using the block mode which is all plus semicolon now these are parented and they move the way we want them but here's the funny stuff toward the next key because the next key is unparented the next twin broke and the previous twin will break as well so this is really not very practical is it i'll have to unparent and if i insist on using parented layers i will have to isolate these somehow either create keys on both sides so that i have a block that is isolated from the other keyframes and now i can safely parent these and now these are parented and cleaned up and then nothing breaks and we head into the next keyframe. In practice, I'm not convinced that using parented layers to clean up just this one leg is actually a neater solution than using the classic EDAP tools cleanup. Now, if I want to clean up this leg here, again, the classic EDAP tools cleanup will be a much better option. I'll select only these two and go Alt Q. And there we go. We end up with having four extra keyframes in between. Nothing on the outside breaks and these two were actually marked with frame labels. So we can identify them as automatically generated keyframes. This one needs more cleaning up. Let's look at it. Again, this is just two, two in-betweens and if we are very very determined to use layer parenting here, we will have to add keyframes on both sides to isolate this section here and then we can go block mode layer parenting and go parented layers and the result will be the same here we'll probably need to snap I didn't pay attention that uh, there was um, more of that uh, disassembling going on so snap and now these are fairly close and you can't really tell that they break so no more cleaning needed here and this is this is very very close to real animation situation so even for this leg that goes down we we can tell we can tell if we zoom in we can tell that there is some unpleasant overlap here but the question is which one is the better option and i will argue that uh, normal standard EDAP tools cleanup is much better. I'll just select these two and go Alt Q. And there I am. So in most cases our tried and tested command is much safer to use. And layer parenting is kind of fancy and people who haven't used EDAP tools for a long time think that it might be actually great and it may be great for some specific situations when you have long frame spans and many elements just slowly tweening along arcs but in real life animation it's just it 
literally is nothing. It's just nothing. Now, what have we here? Yeah, we probably need some IK cleanup for this IK chain, right? So let's uh, show the controllers. Let's choose this one and go IK cleanup. Now the chain has been resolved. Here, there's hardly need of anything. This arm here needs some cleanup. Again, there's only two. There's only two in betweens. Wouldn't it be easier to just go one to chain select? Not even one, I'll just go from here. One to select just these two and Alt Q. And now it's all cleaned up here. So again, in artificial situations, it might appear to be amazing to use layer parenting, but in real life, it just is almost useless when you have smart magnet rigs. Same here with the arms. Let's just go one and Alt Q. And there you go. There is a longer span here, uh, but there isn't that much uh, rotation. So the twins don't visibly break. And now we're already landed and the animation's finished. So in a real life situation, I would say that uh, the idea of having a, a total layer parenting over an animation is just completely useless. In practice, it is just not a good idea. Anyhow, it's an option for everyone to explore and make uh, their own decisions. That's from me. Thanks for watching.